Welcome, it's Anthony Mio here. You've come to the Teacher Tips and Tricks for Alabama Gal. Um, so this game is super duper fun. Kids love to play it, but it does get a little monotonous as the game continues and continues and continues and continues. So here are some ways to make it a little more engaging for your students. One thing you can do is have your students hum the entire song. So they're not actually singing the words, but they still have to think about what their actions are just by humming. Another thing you can do is have them audiate the entire song so they're singing it inside their brain and the only thing they're hearing is maybe the accompaniment of a guitar or a ukulele or simply just the beat of their feet. If they get really good at audiating and singing it inside their brains, you could actually have them audiate most of the verse, so the three parts of the verse, but when it gets to Alabama gal, you can have them sing it out loud. So it's kind of fun, a fun challenge for them to hear the words in their head and then sing the final line of each verse. A uh, final thing that I do, it's only recommended for classes that can handle being a little goofy but not get too carried away. Um, I'd have them uh, moo like a cow, so it'd go moo 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 moo, or woof 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 for dogs, or meow 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 meow. Or if your uh, class is pretty good whistlers, they can try to whistle it. <whistles> now if you have particularly large classes, um, 30 plus students, um, what I'd recommend is actually having it broken up into four lines. So it's two versions of the game going on at the same time. So there's two lines here and two lines here. And they're doing the same sort of thing, but it, uh, it gives the students a little more opportunity to be the heads of the line a little quicker than having to wait 15 to 20 uh, rounds before they get their turn to be the head. The last couple things I do with Alabama Gal, um, after the word gal, once the kids are really pretty good at it, I'd go, Alabama Gal, and they get the clap after each gal. And then on the fourth verse, um, once they get through the bridge, um, I would encourage them to keep the beat and kind of get a little rowdy. Um, so it'd be, um, Ain't I rock candy, ain't I rock candy, ain't I rock candy, Alabama gal. They really buy into it and it's a really fun experience for them. I hope these tips and tricks have been helpful for you. If you do anything differently, please share below. I'd love to hear how you uh, spice up the Alabama gal game. Um, please make sure to subscribe somewhere below and check out other videos in my channel and hopefully they help you out. Take care.